I have one last note of importance that I think is important that I share with this council. I have been in communication with you all for the last week and a half, maybe two weeks about this. Um, and I want to acknowledge the public's uh, frustration. I want to acknowledge, acknowledge the public's concern of how this issue is being addressed. <laughs> and I, my commitment to you all as well as the public that we will communicate more about what we've been doing to address this issue and it is related to Exhibition driving. I'm going to start with um, there has been an uptick of exhibition driving probably for the last two, if not actually three years, uh, post coronavirus, um, not just in Birmingham, but in urban cores across the nation. As I talk to mayors across the nation, mid sized cities, large, larger cities, smaller cities, uh, this activity is taking place. It doesn't just take place on public right of way, it takes place in private parking lots, church parking lots, business parking lots. It is something that is um, beyond the noise or being loud. It is illegal activity that is actually dangerous and causes harm, harm to other people, including in our past here in Birmingham. And so I want to first acknowledge you and thank you for co, um, I guess, going deep, delving deep into getting the state to assist us in creating an exhibition um, law bill in Montgomery that was passed. This law has been in existence for a year. To remind the public, um, this law is in isolation to exhibition driving only. I do think it includes street racing as well, which is technically different from exhibition driving. However, this law gives us teeth um, to ticket for exhibition driving. It also includes the ability to tow a vehicle and keep that vehicle um, in possession for up to 48 hours, unless the judge extends it more, as well as the law allows for up to felony arrest if there's felony elude, post police engaging, activating their lights, and the person giving chase. And so just an update, um, toward the end of summer of last year, um, Deputy Chief Mike Pickett, who was the Deputy Chief of Special Operations for the City of Birmingham, he developed a response to address exhibition driving in Birmingham. And this response was named Operation Night Rider. Um, the first day, I would say, of this year that the police started receiving significant calls and an uptick of exhibition driving and op officers observing the significant uptick was on April 5th. So it was the beginning of this month. So the following weekend, April 12th, uh, I do want to tell you about that operation that weekend. Uh, the Special Bureau um, implemented the first phase of Operation Night Rider, and I just want to share some of the first results. That weekend, five arrests were made. Uh, that included charges for three felony eluding, um, two for exhibition driving, and then various other charges uh, when the police were able to capture um, the suspect and what was found in the vehicles, um, which included seven guns seized, multiple rifles, and one Glock switch. You should also know seven of the cars were impounded. Three of the cars of the seven were actually stolen. So yes, criminal behavior doesn't stop it. It's just still in the car, but stupid enough to actually commit exhibition driving in it as well. So while it may appear that there was no strategy, there have been um, five significant arrests made and various operations going since the weekend of April 12th. I think in addition to that, what I want to acknowledge is that various search warrants were conducted to include chop shop locations that were discovered all time back to arrest made during the first week of the operation. And so I want to be clear that this operation is not a one weekend done situation. Um, the operation was this past weekend as well. And although rain may have tamped down some of the behavior, um, what you saw this past weekend was full visibility on suppression. Um, but I'm very, very honest in this situation. First, acknowledging uh, this operation would not be successful without the sheriff's office. So there's been coordination with the sheriff's office. And I want to thank Sheriff Petway uh, for partnering with BPD uh, to provide additional assistance. Um, we've been able to identify some of the hot spots. We know 803rd Avenue West. We know uh, between the 18th and 25th block of 1st Avenue North. Um, we know portions of Five Points South as well as Fifth Avenue South. 
Um, and there are other areas uh, that Intel is able being able to collect and identify where these meetups take place. We've also seen a pattern where small businesses, um, whatever event they're having, where there's a spill out of patrons, and that is a high visibility that this type of behavior tends to attract this area. So we've started engaging, talking to small business owners about business compliance and their responsibility for the exterior, as well as the public right away in front of their small business and holding them accountable. I do want to note that there were no injuries to any officers or suspects during these last two weekend operations. Um, this is, we know the behavior is at its height Friday nights, Saturday nights. We've since found that it's, um, that behavior is high during Sunday daytime before sunset as well. So we're adjusting as again, it's fluid. So we're adjusting where we can be. Here's the point that I really want to make to the public and to you all is that even with the operations, we can't have officers in every intersection, nor every private parking lot, church parking lot, business parking lot. And the exhibition law speaks to parking lots as well, not just public right away, without the permission of the business owner or the owner of the parking lot. However, the law is very clear for any moving violation that takes place in the city of Birmingham, for, any, for that matter, any other um, city in the state, with the exception of two cities in Jefferson County who currently have traffic cameras. If the officer doesn't see it, an officer cannot ticket and or tow and or if need be make arrests after the fact, i.e. you are at home or you are out, you witness exhibition driving, you call the police, the police show up, they didn't witness it or see it, nothing can be done after the fact, and that is based on state law. Therefore, there has been an, an ample effort. I know you all have been trying for three years, um, but I think we have gotten it down to something narrow to engage the legislative session and our legislators before the session ends this year to allow an exception and or an amendment to the existing exhibition driving law that will allow camera usage for exhibition driving and drag racing only, not any other form of a moving violation. Um, if we are successful, then that changes the game. That allows us to not only continue our operations, but if and when exhibition driving occurs in an intersection or in a private lot where it was not given permission and there's camera usage that's able to capture that, then after the fact, the police can engage in issuing a ticket and or towing and or up to an arrest if there's a felony allude or other forms. Um, in this exception, we would also ask that, uh, you know, we currently have what's in parking enforcement employees, they're officers, they're civilian but that will allow non-sworn to also engage and if they identify the activity that they can share with the BPD and then again go out, issue a ticket and or tow and or up to an arrest. I've since shared the draft of the amended language with you this morning. Um, I believe we have some advocates down in Montgomery advocating for us, but I wanna be very clear with you as the summer months approach. Um, without camera usage, we're gonna be hamstring on the ability to catch this every time it happens. Uh, my excitement and encouragement is that if cameras are allowed to be used, then it totally levels the playing field for us. And literally the next day or a few hours later can go back, um, identify who committed the crime, and then after the fact still engage, including up to uh, my favorite part, actually towing their vehicle. I think we need to send a very clear signal um, that this behavior is illegal, it's dangerous, and you gotta go somewhere else and do it. And if you do it here, um, in addition to the special operation, that the camera usage will allow us to ticket tow and up to an arrest. And Mr. President and Council, that is the update I wanted to provide to you all. And thank you for leaning in on this topic because I know it's happening in all of your districts. Um, I know you get calls and texts and emails about it, 
Um, it is not isolated to one neighborhood. It is literally happening in all 99. Small update, Mr. President. Sure.